women are significantly uh, better represented in our own government compared to many countries in the world. But the focus today is women judges. And the point we're emphasizing is that we need to expose women legal practitioners to lucrative, um, highly complex legal work that would uh, refine their skills so that they're ready for appointment for judgeship. And I just want to say that the achievement of women is not just for women, it's for all of us. Because women are our sisters, are our daughters, are our mothers, grandmas, and uh, who wouldn't be excited to be able to say, my mom is a judge, uh, whether you're the son or the daughter. Um, so I think that the struggles of women should be the struggles for all of us, because every woman belongs to some family. Look, the Constitution requires of us <coughs> uh, to ensure that uh, in making appointments, be it for uh, judgeship or magistracy positions, we have to ensure that there is demographic representativity, and that includes race, gender, and even other considerations such as disability. And as far as I have been involved in the Magistrates Commission and in the JSC before that, I know for certain that uh, we took serious consideration of uh, issues of gender, issues of race. But of course, we don't want to field mediocrity into our system because that's doomed to lead us to failure. So we do demand of quality and, and, and nothing less.